All right, Locker Nuts, we're back. That is definitely a good one right there. What? This is bizarro land right now, guys. Ooh, piggy bank. Uh oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have some potential here? This could be gold. And look what we found. Look at this. It's a trolley bank. <laughs> it has got money in it. Ooh, that's nice. That looks really interesting. Uh oh. Let's see what we got. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever ever found. Let's get it open. Let's see what's in it. You guys ready for this? Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this unit at the storage auction for just one dollar. It's a packed 5x10 with lots of furniture and boxes. So far the best thing we found is a carved wooden trunk that looks mysterious. We'll get into that trunk and the remaining boxes right now in this episode of Locker Nuts. All right, what's up Locker Nuts? Okay, it's been a busy morning. I went to the dump. I had this thing loaded with garbage from that unit, went to the dump, and then went to pick up these uh, two pieces here, these two furniture pieces, that really nice mid-century looking dresser, and then that cabinet, that red cabinet. So uh, it's been a busy morning, I'm really happy, but I had a little bit of accident at the dump, not accident, but a little injury, let me show you. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> bloody nasty and no I didn't wear those white sandals to the dump thanks for asking I have my boots on but uh, one of the big wood particle board pieces it was standing up I had a box in front of it when I pulled the box away it, it fell back and right onto my shins and man shin injuries for some reason really hurt Okay, so I got to get that unloaded, and then uh, at some point I got to get back over there and pick up all the stuff that I've already processed, ready for donation, and then we got a few more boxes to go through, don't we? But first, I'm going to get those off and hopefully get those listed. I'm going to sell those quick and get them out of here. I think we're going to make a little money on those dressers. All right, guys, I got this home, and uh, Grace is going to paint. We got a little black paint there. It's chalk paint, but it'll be good enough. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to give that a little trimmy trim trim job. And then this in here, it looks like there is some stuff in there. So we'll open that in a sec and see what goodies are stored inside. Are you ready? Get to work. All right, I'm going to throw some little English lemon oil on this just to see if I could take some of that, some of it off. It'll make some of it go away, but still, I mean, there's like chunks in the veneer right here missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's not, it's not going to be perfect, but oh, oh, are you here to help him, Luna? <laughs> what are you doing? She's just inspecting our work. She's the foreman. All right, let me see how, what I can do to this. Okay, watch this, you guys. Look at this. Not so good, right? Put that on there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whoa. It's it's not great, but it's a heck of a lot better. Some of this can be taken off, I think, with the heat gun. Actually, maybe we're going to try that too, but look at this. Look at, just this is just old English. This isn't even, like, amazing, right? This is just regular old, old English lemon oil. And it uh, doesn't do much for the chip veneer, but everything else, pretty amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't take much to make it look a whole lot better. Unfortunately, those scratches aren't coming out, but at least they kind of blend in a little more. Wow, right? Wow. A little bit more. Uh oh, hope I have enough oil for this job. Yes, look at that. Crazy. Ooh. Pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before. Here's the after. Voila. Look at the beauty. It's not exactly like perfect, right? It almost makes the, the chips in the veneer even more obvious, like brings it to light. And then those ghost spots here, I actually didn't try the heat gun on it. Whatever. That's the way it's going to be right here. Okay, we're letting it go like this. I think we're going to get 100 and maybe 125. I think I'll try 125 on this piece. It obviously needs restoration, but I think it's a worthy piece. It is very nice. Grace just finished painting this. And we just put chalk paint on it because chalk paint, you don't have to prime it. Chalk paint's pretty easy, easy cleanup. Not like super great for long term, but it'll be good enough. Makes it look a lot better. All right, let's crack that open and see what's inside. Okay, we did sell the mid-century set, 125 asked and 125 sold. Took a couple days, it's been a couple days, 
But it did sell, and the lady who bought it was planning to refinish it. She's actually pretty excited about it. Okay, what do we got in here? Hmm. Couple of lids. Ooh, look at that. Property of Jack. Well, as a matter of fact, it is. Okay, what do we have here? Look at that. Okay, that's kind of neat. That is a, looks like an oil painting. Barnum and Bailey Circus, it says right there. Florence Kohler. Florence Kohler. 1962 is the date right there. See that? 1962 bought in Phoenix. Oh, and then here we got some personal stuff. <laughs> Last Supper. It's not especially a very good uh, print there. Very pixelated, low res and such. I'm not too impressed with that, but this, this is kind of neat. That might be something for the antique market right there. All right, Locker Nuts, we're back. Or yesterday, I came and got the two dressers out of here. And then I already loaded all the donation boxes. That stuff we already went through. And uh, that put that in the van. I've got the van today. So here's what we got left back there. And uh, you ready to get started? We're going to do some unboxing. Today, I brought a table and some empty boxes. How about that garbage bag? I'm ready to go. Are you guys ready to go? Okay, yeah, we're still going to go through this. I think I might bring that home. It's really dark in here, but we got this many boxes, okay? Let's drag one out to that table and start doing some unboxing. Right. Well, I'll tell you the last time I was here, I went home and I thought I was gonna have a couple hours of editing in me. And when I got home, I was just completely spent of energy. Uh, being on the second floor here in the heat is like, it really wears you down. It adds a whole nother element. All right, nice little vintage suitcase here, but vintage plastic hangers are not what we're looking for. Nor are these robes, okay? nice suitcase it's a little heavy right here oh boy guys we're getting ghetto on this I gotta break out the keys <laughs> I gotta break out the keys I don't know where my knife is right now what is this what is that for Prince Machabelli fragrances usually we get excited when we find some fragrances but I'll tell you what I'm not that excited because this locker has been a Really, really low end. This is some good stuff here. Really low end. Huh. Maybe that's something decent. Wind song. Wind song. Same as this. Oh, okay. Those little metal things. That's for this. Wave rage. Okay. Puts little pattern waves into your hair. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's go into the donation. Okay. Next box. Okay, coffee cup. Oh, Jack. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. All right, that is definitely a good one right there. By the name alone, okay, what's this? Gold medalist. Okay, bunch of coin wrappers. Okay, coin rolls, but no coins. Come on, come on. Where's the coins? Little horseshoe, decorative, the of glove. Some more coin wrappers here. I don't think coin wrappers have any value. I might be wrong. That's a neat little salt shaker. There's the other one. Looks like he's stolen out of a restaurant or something. Eh. Alright. Next box. Okay. Kitchen. 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 Alright. Next box. Okay. This one says Judy. VHS tapes and odds and ends. Let's see about all that jazz. Um, how interesting. Very interesting. Okay, and let me tell you what I think is interesting. Right? Oh, what? This is bizarro land right now, guys. I was, I have been saying a couple times, mentioned, I see similarities between this locker and the last one I bought. Both of them for a dollar. Both of them different owners completely. But look at this. Now we're getting some horror VHS. So one of the things we found in the other one is these horror VHS. We got Anaconda Halloween trilogy. It, and then look at this, look at this, a PS2. What the heck, I found a PS2 in the other locker. That is bizarre. That's beyond, beyond bizarre, right? Finding so many similarities in these two lockers. What the heck is that? What's this? This has some weight to it. Stinking rocks. Oh my goodness. Serious? How about some coins, yo? Nope. Here's the plugs for the PS2. This is. Uh huh. I thought that might have something to do with the PS2. I think it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. It's gonna have something to do with the PS2 game. Maybe it's like a dance game or something. I don't know. 
Is in this too? Is this the same thing? That's weird. It's got two of them. Here's a little plush right here from Family Guy. <laughs> All right. Jeez. I don't know. I guess I'll put them aside. 101 Dalmatians plush. And a scrunchie set. Okay. Okay, this one says kitchen, 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 kitchen. And look at look at the obviously it's been open. Look how the tape is just tore back. Ugh. Ugh. Yucky yucka. Yeah, just kitchen stuff. Another box that says Judy, odds and ends. Hmm. Towel. Hmm. Maybe a little more plush and stuff in there. Looks like a bunch of kids stuff, schoolwork, art projects. There's a little beanie baby and more similarities with that last one. This is a jingle jingle beanie. Found those in the last locker too. How bizarre. How bizarre. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a vintage dish towel right here. It's got some embroidery on it. Maybe I put that aside. I don't know. Yeah, it's stained up in there. Donate! Do, 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 do. Don't eat me kinds of junk. Ooh, piggy bank. No piggies though. Made in China. Ah, another piggy bank. This one's a fish. Wait a second. Uh-uh. That's got something in it. What you got for us, little fish? Give it up. Give it up. Ooh. Okay, we'll put that fish aside for now. There's a candle. Hmm. Okay, what's in here? Uh oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Do we have some potential here? This could be gold. Hmm. I don't think it is. We have a little watch right here. Dollar Hide, Joe Dollar Hide, 1988. I don't know. A little keychain. Little pins. That's cool. A little Denny's pin. Okay. Put this stuff in here. We'll take that home. Take a look at it. Take a closer look at it, I meant to say. I mean, this is a lot of garbage. Okay. Computer frame. That's nice. This one says 5x7 with Santa and lights. It lights up, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> they got some thick tape on here. Dang. Uh -uh. I see mostly VHS here. There's a few DVDs. I'm just finding Nemo, Walt Disney. That was empty. Jeez, this is so strange. Look at this, more horror. Prom Night 3. Wait, I think we have that in the other locker. I think that was actually in the other locker. That is crazy. Alright, here's some more DVDs down at the bottom here. Okay. There's a couple brand new ones in there. That's good. We'll put those aside. We'll bring those home. And the rest of it, I think we're going to donate. Okay, guys. Next one was in the corner there. It was taped up. This one did not get into. I just took the tape off. Yeah, it says kitchen on it, and it looks like that's what it is. We're not going to go too deep in this. I see a blender. I see a can opener down there. Electric can opener. This one's going to get donated. Okay, guys. I'm, I'm struggling up here. It is so blazing hot here. My, my shirt's starting to get drenched in sweat. So I just decided to try to go a little bit quicker. I pulled this one off the top. It's knickknacks. I just started ripping one open right here, and look what we found. Look at this. It's a trolley bank. <laughs> it has got money in it. Okay, and you see the rest of this box here. I don't know if there'll be more piggy banks in here, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that's wrapped up. And, ah, oh, I have to go all through all this. Oi. Okay, so if that's the way it's going to be with these boxes, and we have all these boxes here in uh, knick knack, knick knack, knick knack, knick knack, knick knack. All right, this one says kitchen, and that one says dishes. <sighs> Uh, I don't want to be up here. I don't want to be up here for a couple more hours. It's just 
unbearably hot. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw all this stuff in the back of my van. We're gonna go home and let's go through it there. Okay, let's just do it there. I was hoping just go straight to donation on the way home, but I think what we'll do is we'll go home, unbox the rest of these. That way I can just like, you know, take a break and be in my garage and it's cooler outdoors at least. In here, there's no air circulation. It is a hot box. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go home and start unboxing, which will be like now. All right, there's the end result. Clean. Ooh, a little dusty in the air. Look at that, all that stuff floating around. I don't even see it, but you can definitely see it in the camera. I swept it though. That's probably why all the dust is up. I swept it clean. I feel good. I always love that feeling when you're done. Okay, well, we're not done. We still gotta go through some boxes, but we're at least out of here. Sweet. All right, guys, let's get into the van. And this is the last of the stuff, right? So let's hope for some good stuff. And we still got that chest. Get to this one all right this one is funny we grabbed that one first this one is one of the ones i was most interested in because it says elephants etc they all say knickknacks but this one with the elephants has me a little bit more interested elephant stuff sells pretty good come across some nice elephant knickknacks in the past okay now we're going on a different level here we've got newspaper wrapping and tape so it takes a lot longer to open but Ooh, what the heck? What's this? Let's look at that base. It's all about the base. Made in China. Eh, no. I thought maybe it was Yadro or something, but negative. That is a negative. Oh, 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 but here we got a Beanie Baby. 2000. Okay, a little bit newer. Wait, this isn't even the locker we found all the Beanie Babies. I forgot. This is a different locker entirely. All right, well, yesterday and today I've been sorting. If you see right here, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000. Boom, right in there. I've been sorting them by date so I could put these guys in my auction. We've got a bunch of them. There's six boxes more than what you see here. Six full large flat rate boxes full all right we're sorting them by date and that's how we're going to auction them and we'll see how those do pretty soon here because the auction is tonight today is monday it's taking me a while to get back to this, this stuff because i've just been busy mm. tune is my favorite things all right not impressed they all kind of look the same though Come on, something better. What's this? K's collection. Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. Look for better stuff. Only the better stuff. All the rest of it's getting donated. Hmm, Lennox maybe? Mm -mm. I don't think so. No. Hark the Herald's Angels Sing. Mm -mm. Come on, where's the elephant? Oh, there's an elephant. Okay. Made in China. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not that impressed. To be honest, to be truthful, keeping it 100 here, 100% 100 real. Not impressed yet. Oh, okay. More impressed. Oh, if it weren't for that little disco ball, though. That, this is a metal piece. It's got a significant amount of weight to it. I like that. I like that a lot. Finally, something. Mm -mm. 10 bucks, why? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of tape on this stuff. It slows me down. Oh, okay. Alright. A little better. Another elephant. A little globe in his trunk there. That's nice. Okay. Got a little set going there. Nope. That's not it. A little Easter bunny. Ugh. Some really ugly, gaudy stuff, guys. And if that's your taste, if you like that kind of stuff, no offense. No offense intended. I'm just giving you my opinion. I don't care for it. This one either. Made in Taiwan. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not that impressed with it. We've got a lot of stuff in here. It's getting smaller. 
Ooh, that's nice. There's a brass elephant. This guy's got some weight to him. I like that piece. Okay. Better. Yep, yep, there's one. That doesn't do it for me. Okay. So, it's okay. That's not great, but it's okay. I, I like the fact that it's a little smaller. All right, guys, there's a lot of stuff in here. I, this is going to take too long to do it on camera, so here's what I'm going to do. Let me just unwrap everything. I'll put the good stuff here. We'll go through it in one second. It's called speed unboxing. All right, out of that entire box, this is what I consider the better stuff. Some of this stuff's a little bit of a stretch. I'm not even sure if it'll make it to our auction, but this is a, this is a neat piece right here. 1999 from the Endangered Species Plate Collection, the Asian Elephant from Kedona. All right, that's kind of neat. This piece, Crosa Collection. I just thought that was nice. We already saw that, but here's a little ceramic one. Here's a little porcelain one. Look at that, Lefton. That's from Lefton. Oh man, the ears chipped up. I just noticed that. All right, that one going to our auction. The metal one we saw. This is another one, kind of like the other one, but that one actually sits straight. This is a shame. This one right here is a stone, carved stone, but the trunk broke. They re-glued it. I'm probably not going to put that in the auction. This one's still probably my favorite, the brass. I just love brass stuff. This one's a music box. It plays What the World Needs Now is Love. Awesome, right? And then a couple of these ceramic ones. I don't know if we're going to put that in auction or not. I, I don't know. That was the better stuff, okay? So it's like, it doesn't mean it's good stuff. It just means it's better than the other stuff. Here's a little honey bear, and it's filled with sand. I want to put that aside because yeah, that's something different. And then oh, we got a piggy bank with something in there. And I see a penny. So there's something else. Let's take a look. Mm, it's just a penny. Dang it. All right. <laughs> it's still a penny. It's not an old one either. But oh well. Let's grab another knick-knack box. And this one, living room, game, pick, etc. Let's take a peek. We haven't opened this one yet. No one has, actually. That's a good thing, since a lot of these boxes were opened by somebody at some point. And I think they were picked over, too. Okay. Got some potential here. A little tin. Yeah, family stuff. Put that back to the owner. <laughs> okay, it's elephant wind chime right here. Actually, that sounds really nice. I like that. And a, a little bear wind chime. <laughs> and a little birdhouse. A little resin or plastic one. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's different. Look at that. That looks older to me. What does it say? It says something down here. And it looks like a Siamese cat or something. And then it's got the bulb down here. I wonder if there's a shade or something that goes right here. That is an interesting piece. Made in the USA. Number 898. I can read that much. Something of California. We're going to have to do a little research on that one. That has some potential. What else we got in here? Alright, a little sewing kit. Plastic box actually, I think, has got to be worth a little bit of money. Oh, there's some decent scissors. Made in China, or not. These ones, Fiskars. Hmm. They're alright. They aren't all that. Alright, you're not bringing that home to meet the parents or nothing. We'll donate that. Ooh, this one's heavy. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, personal photos. Dang it. Next box. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, hang on a second. That looks really interesting. Okay. Looks a little less interesting all of a sudden. But this is a nice little box right here. I love the mirrored back. Really cool display box. I know it's meant to be hung on the wall and whatnot, but also works for the flea market. Okay. These are cool right here. Little carved stone elephants. Here's another little metal one. Looks like pewter or something. Here's another brass one. Ooh, I like that. Here's a little plastic frog. I'm not that impressed with that. Here's a little ceramic frog. Here's another brass one. This is nice. It's heavy. I don't know if that's brass, actually. It's heavy. This is definitely metal. It's another metal one. Put on a little piece of stone. It's not. No, not either. Uh, plastic. Okay, ceramic. A little better. Oh, yeah, another little carved stone one. A little ceramic one. That's cool. Look at this Goosebumps game. 
Hmm, that's kind of neat. I wonder if that has any value. I might want to look that up. Maybe. Maybe we'll look it up. Uh oh. Ah, I would really like for that to be some change. But I don't think it is. Let's see. Okay, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. You guys ready? Ah, buttons. <laughs> I thought it felt different than coins. It just didn't sound right to me. All right, that's kind of neat though. A lot of buttons. We might add those to a button lot. We do button lots in our auctions from time to time. Not very often. Oh, look at all these rolls of penny rolls. Where's the pennies at? Come on, we gotta find some pennies. That'll make me happy. Uh, and if you guys are like, what's what are you talking about live auction? We do a live auction on our YouTube channel. Just YouTube, not on Facebook, but on the YouTube channel. We do them every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 5. But we also do them throughout the week different times throughout the week as well if you guys haven't been to an, a live auction with us before please please check it out because it is a lot of fun and uh yeah you pick up some of the some of the better stuff you find here and you see i go through a lot of stuff to pick out what i consider better stuff i'm pretty picky actually i think as far as auctions go i'm pretty picky yeah, plastic next up oh what do we got here oh nice bible catholic bible looks a little older it's not been written in Okay, 1966, I believe. It's a Rembrandt edition. Oh, it's got Rembrandt's painting right there. Okay, I'll have to look that up too, maybe. World's greatest mom. All right, congrats. There's a lot of moms in the running for that, so if that's, they gave the award to her, then she must be really good. What is this? What is this? Oh, it is a frog. I'm playing the banjo. <laughs> Or a violin or a, uh, and it's got a broken piece right here. Dang. Okay, next box. And this one says a Nicky Neck. Let's see what we got. Okay, starting out. We got a little chair. Mother. All right, guys, there's, there's a fair amount of stuff in here again. Let's do like we did with the elephants where I'm going to just unwrap everything, leave on the table. The more exciting stuff. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of stuff that not that exciting like this for example okay yeah let me just go through and do a speed unboxing and we'll see what the good stuff is you guys don't have to go through the boring stuff let me get to the good stuff right now okay guys here's what we got and i'm not too impressed with any of it quite frankly there's a lot of frog stuff most of the frog stuff just straight to the donation box these i thought were a little bit neater neater this is a heavy glass right here i don't know if that's anything at all this guy I just thought was funny because it, yeah, you get it, right? The little fly. Um, this one I thought was just cool. Free weeds, you pick. That's pretty funny. And then a couple more elephants. Not that impressed with that, but here's another little brass one. Probably matched the other one. And a couple more frogs. This one is crystal right here, made in France. That's a little bit better, right? And then over here, oh yeah, here's another frog. This one's, uh, I think we've had those before. Christmas Country Folks, and this is made by Russ. I think we've had those before. I am gonna put him aside for sure. This one I just thought was funny. I wanted to show you guys. It says, you'd be happy too if you could eat what bugs you. Uh, <laughs> that's nice, but that's gonna go to donation. And then back here, we got a bunch of Buddhas. All right, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, not necessarily in those orders, but, uh, and these are all plastic, so if they look cool, they're not really, they're plastic, except for this one. This one's like, I don't know, made out of concrete or something. It's a little bit heavier. Yeah, all right. All right, we're gonna do something kind of funny with this, or what I think is funny anyways. Uh, Jana would never, ever, ever want to keep that in our front yard anywhere, but I was thinking, well, what if I put it up in the yard here, front? Or are people walking by? Oh, that's a good spot right there. All right, where people walking by would see it and think, oh, that's kind of funny. And you know what? The person who walks the most in our neighborhood, probably more than anyone else, Jana. So she's probably going to be the first to see that. Uh, let's see what she does. I don't know if she'll think it's funny or not. I think it's funny. Okay. This box right here, extremely heavy. Extremely heavy. I don't even know if I'm going to pull that out. Let's see. Kitchen appliances. Oh, there it is. All right. So we got those two. One of these got a pig bank in it. I'm not sure which one. Let's see. Ooh, knick-knack paddy whack. Give a dog a bone. Ha ha. Let's do that. Let's do that box. I mean, we're not giving the dog a bone. We got no dogs and no bones. Let's see what we got. Okay. Not impressed yet. Nope. 
donate, d -d -d donate, donating tons of junk. I should copyright this song. Because every time you know I'm singing it, uh, that's supposed to be a snow globe, but there's no liquid in the globe. Alright, you know what? This is looking like more of the same. Wrapped up stuff, probably not impressive. Let me go through it. We'll do speed unboxing. Abracadabra doing speed unboxing now. Okay, that box was either a serious letdown or I'm getting pickier. But I put these guys aside. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We're not going to sell that in our auction. It's just way too big and breakable. It's kind of a neat pot. I don't know why I like it so much. Maybe because the size, uh, the pattern's pretty cool. I just like it. I don't know. I just think it's cool. This guy right here, I don't, he's just... It's just a resin made in China thing. I don't know why I like him too. All right, that might be one I hide in the yard from Jana and wait till she comes across, get a little chuckle. But then again, maybe not. This was neat though. Look at this little paperweight. It's like an epoxy paperweight with the pennies floating in there. I think that's neat. It says something on it, like rust or something, but that's a, I don't know, anything with money in it, I'm in. This one now, off the side over there. I got it out of the side. Doesn't look like we've opened this one or anyone's open this one, all right? So that's automatically makes it a little bit more interesting. Or not. <laughs> Boo. Boo. All right, well, it's the kitchen, and that's what it is. There's a nice Pyrex bowl. Nope, donate. You know what, while we're at it, or while we're up here, rather, let's look in this right here. Because, like I said, like I mentioned, this thing weighs a ton. I don't really want to unload it out of the car. I'd rather just put it right into the donation bucket. Okay, this is a... Uh, hmm, this little Pyrex. I actually kind of need one about this size, but this one's all like foggy on the inside. Maybe it just needs to be clean. Put it aside. Put it aside. Looks like we got a set of these. Stoneware, Daisy Vale, JCPenney, Japan. Alright. There's a lot of stuff in here, guys. This is going to go straight to donation mode. What are the odds of a jewelry box being at the bottom of that? Not very, not very good. There's a chance, there's a chance, but it's not very good. Okay, oh yeah, we still got that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Okay, hopefully this is the one with the piggy bank on top, because that one is the only one I'm really interested in finding again. Let's see. Yes. 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 That has got some, that's got some piggies in it too. Oh, look at that. I was expecting pennies. We got dimes. Ooh, okay. 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 You know what? Let's put them right in there. Come on, little trolley. Poop out them dimes. Keep pooping. Keep a pooping. Poop, 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 poop. Yes. Okay. I'll put him aside. It's kind of neat. This is neater. It might only be a couple bucks there, but I just like that better. No offense, troll. And no offense to you internet trolls either that have a, to take offense to me bashing on a troll like that. All right, there looks like a lot of family photos in here. There might be something, what is that? What the heck is that? Okay, we'll get to the bottom of that. Oh, and this, what's this? A nickel, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, a little garbage can. What'd they store in the garbage can? Oh, frog. PL Ceramics. Okay. Oh boy, a lot more wrapped up stuff here. We're gonna do a speed unboxing on that in just a second. The speed unboxing seems to work out pretty good. What do you guys think? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. What is this? Try me, press the spider. Batteries are done. Face changer, ooh, whoa, changer, <laughs> that's funny, okay. All right, well that box sucked because that's the only thing I kept was that trolling piggy bank. We've got a little keep box here. This stuff will probably go into the live auction. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna take a second look at that when I cool down a little bit. All right, guys, now it's time to go through this chest. And this is uh, what I think already, I think this is the best thing that we found in the locker, which, well, that locker didn't set the bar very high, but this trunk is beautiful. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever 
ever found. I've seen some of the comments in the video and from the first episode saying maybe it's from the 1960s and people said maybe it's from Vietnam perhaps. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. It looks like a lot of work went into it but without any more work going into it let's get it open let's see what's in it. You guys ready for this? How about on three? On a one, on a two, and a three. Oh, okay, that's right. We did already peek. Oh, it says right here, made in China. Okay, that's interesting because gives a little bit of uh, a little bit insight as to the background. Really nice, nice. I'm just looking at the wood. It's just a beautiful piece. Okay, so let's get to the contents right now. What's this? Electric blanket, maybe? Yeah, electric blanket. Yeah. Otherwise, why would a blanket need an instruction manual? <laughs> it's a vintage piece right there from the electric blanket service station in Mississippi. Okay, what do we got here? We do like the vintage textiles, but this just appears to be a bunch of vintage towels. And oh, the lady liked the frogs. There's some frog towels in here. All right, pretty cool. There's a pink dress. All right, yep, yep, yep. I don't have that many words to <laughs> describe that dress. It's pink. That's all I can say about it. And it looks old. There's a nice blanket right there. It's soft. Okay, this is... We like this right here. We like this. That's a nice piece right here. Wow, it's heavy too. Alright, so I'm going to put many, many hours into that. And that's kind of nice. That's so far the nicest piece to come out of here. Alright. <laughs> Again, the trunk didn't set the bar very high. That's a nice piece so far, but this towels, blanket, it's okay. Free market or donation. Hmm, what's this? Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. A little scratched up over here. Needs to be cleaned up, but that's a nice vintage piece right there. Nice TV tray. Definitely vintage. Definitely looks like 60s or 70s. And what we got here? Another one. Santa Cruz, California. All right, also looks like a vintage piece. I think not as cool, but if you're in Santa Cruz, it might be cool. There's a couple pieces potentially for the vintage market here. All right, what's this? Calypso, original Walther glass. Let's, let's take a look at that. Oh, it's Mikasa, crystal, Calypso, fruit bowl, 13 inch. All right, we can look it up. We don't need to pull it out. We'll look it up. I don't think it's gonna have a, too much value though. It's worth a few bucks. Ah, uh, nah. It's a little like, was it for salt and pepper or something? Just a little serving thing, a little pottery. Yeah. What's this? Mom, you gave me life, you gave me love, and thank you. A uh, little rabbit. I thought there would be something better in here. I really do. Oh, there's a uh, vintage blanket made in the USA. Fashion print blanket. Polyester and acrylic. Okay. This is a little bit nicer right here. That's a pillowcase, I think. Yeah, pillowcase. Nice embroidery work on it. See that? That is a beautiful, beautiful pillowcase. I do think that might have a little bit of value right there, so... That's gonna get put aside. Okay, now we got some little pieces of uh, embroidery and such. Nice, another pillowcase. Another one. Another one. What's that for? Spouts right here, maybe a teapot or something? I don't know. I feel like it's something hot because it's got this, I don't know, insulation inside. Just a couple embroidered pieces. I don't know if I'm saying that right, embroidered. I don't know if it's technically embroidery or something different bath mat that's pretty disgusting and probably a plunger handle gross I'm not sure what that woods for might be for the inside that bath mat is done right here look at that I don't even know why they saved that that's gonna go right here I'll keep it safe right there that's a special spot for those kinds of items some beads yeah, more beads looks like a lay what are those they're like seeds or something <laughs> Okay, apron, we got a yellow jacket that all of a sudden became very interested, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure what that is, bed sheet, probably bed sheets, we have another blanket, dang it, this is getting really close to the bottom of you guys, last item, last item, could this be the big money ticket right here, heritage thrift gold, 
granted. Is that what it says? Granted 22k gold? All right, we found gold. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, guys, well, not the type of gold we're looking for in the locker, but you know what? Uh, we did find some gold technically, I guess, if you want to say that. But anyways, the locker is done. That's the real That's the real exciting find right now is that we're finally through the last of that locker. Wasn't that good of a locker. It wasn't a good locker. Let's just put it that way. By most measures, not a good locker. The trunk, yes, that trunk, I'm, I'm actually anxious to get that listed. What am I going to list that at? I don't know. Maybe 150. We'll start there. We can always go down. Just can't go up. Hey, now. Whoa. Uh-uh. Yellow Jack is on me he likes something in there he's in the trunk all right well anyways I almost got stung he's basically telling me get off my trunk actually I think I'm gonna lock him in there in a second but yeah I think I'll list that for 150 bucks and uh, see if somebody wants to come pick it up right away so I can get it out of here yeah, because I've got a lot of other stuff to go through we have more lockers to finish and a couple lockers just to begin all right and you'll see those in upcoming episodes which will be out soon but until then Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Okay, guys, you ready? Let's get in and see what we got. Ooh. Okay, now I remember this one. Ooh, because we bought a few that day, and yeah, they all start to become a blur. I did remember this one. I remember we were excited about it.